Arizona's high country offers some beautiful, beautiful secluded, secluded places to go to, folks. I've been doing this for over 45 years, hiking back into small little creeks around Arizona. In fact, there's so many of them over the last 45 years, I haven't even fished all of them. Today, I'm going to take you back to a new place that I haven't been before. People ask about how do you find a secret fishing spot. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how we find a secret fishing spot in Arizona. So watch all the way to the end. You'll see what a day looks like. I'm going to take you right along with me for a day in this video. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you see something you like. I look forward to seeing you. Hey folks, Chris Rich, AZ Fly Shop, your community fly shop. Welcome back. You bet. Hey folks, I'm out here with the Fish Whisperer. We're going to go fish a little tiny Arizona stream. I grew up fishing these. I've been fishing them for 45 years. We camped out as kids along these creeks and it's how I spent a lot of my youth. I'm excited to come into this creek. This is actually a creek that I haven't been into. Uh, there's a lot of wild Apaches in here. A lot of these streams, they're not very wide at all. Some of them are just down to a trickle. A lot of little tiny fish, maybe you know six to 10 inch fish, wild trout, fun to catch. I like to fish these with a, a sub seven foot rod. There's a lot of different ways you could fish these type of creeks. I'm gonna walk you through what I go through kind of going into a situation like this. Now we're not at a creek right now. We're gonna to have to walk to get there. We had to drive back in through some off roads and kind of find our way back in here. That's a lot of what this type of fishing is. And now we're gonna walk and get down into the canyon and fish. Before I do that, I'm gonna go through, you know, I've got a boat bag, all kinds of different flies in it. I'm gonna whittle it down to one fly box. When I go on a deal like this, we're gonna be doing a lot of hiking, a lot of walking. Most of this is gonna be little uh, small caddis, small mini hoppers, maybe little beetles, ants, something like that. And you could fish little leeches, you could fish woolly boogers, you could fish nymphs. I really wanna fish dry flies on this little creek. I think they're gonna work. I'll have a few nymphs with me, but I'm gonna whittle down first we're going to get ready, start walking. I'm going to bring you right along with us. All right, we're getting ready to head down to the creek. We're going to have to walk a ways. I'm not exactly sure how far we're going to have to walk. I'm not sure what exactly we're going to run into as I'm walking. But I wanted to go through. I'm going to carry a backpack. I'm going to have my lanyard, one fly box. I'll go through my fly box. I'm going to go quickly through my backpack. This is what I take. Um, and it's what I'm taking today. Some days it's different. I got a bottle of water. I got a granola bar. I'm packing my rod and reel. I don't know how, what the walk's gonna look like. I mean, I go back and forth. The fish whisperer, he's gonna carry his rod all assembled, ready to go. It's really whatever you're most comfortable with. But I'm packing my rod and reel. I take a little bag, I've got a Red Bull. If there's some trash along the way, I like to pick it up. You know, I just like to have a little bag that I can kind of keep the forest clean. I like to take a Garmin in reach. I can hook this to my cell phone. I can send text, uh, via this, this Garmin inReach system. Uh, I really like having it when I'm going into the back country. You know, of course we didn't have these 20 years ago and 20 years ago I wasn't worried about it. Today, you know, hey, I'm a little older, I'm not quite as agile. I like to bring this Be Free. It's a water filter in a vinyl bag. You just pick up water from the creek, squeeze it through the top of it. The lid is the filter. It's about 40 bucks. It's fantastic to have when you're fishing these backcountry creeks. Let's take a look real quick at my fly box. I'll give you just a glimpse of what I'm taking down. It's just one box. We got a few nymphs. We got some dries, a San Juan worm. I'm fishing mostly smaller dries, not teeny tiny. Got some mini foam hoppers and some more caddis in there. A couple of uh, black ant uh, and Adams. We got, we got a few different things, a few little nymphs if we wanted to go to that. But this is what I'm gonna take down and fish with today down there at the creek. I've got my forceps, my tippet, nippers. I like these catch and release. If I need to, if it doesn't come unhooked, the fish doesn't come unhooked, these are real easy to unhook them. But that's really how we're gonna travel today. We expect it to be a fairly long day. We expect to have some success. Let's go take a look. Okay, so we're, we're, we can see our car from here. 
we're maybe 100 yards from our car. We've come across another road. We're coming up to the crest of the hill. We're gonna drop down into a canyon. We're gonna fish up and down the creek. My experience has told me at the end of the day, we're gonna be looking, how do we get out of here? Where do we get back to our car? So we marked the spot on our GPS. So we know right here, we can see the car. We've gotta get back to this point. It's easy to get lost out here. I've been lost. I've been having to find my way around in the middle of the night. It's not that much fun. Anyhow, make sure you know how to get back to your car. Let's keep going. Well, we made our way to the canyon edge. You see the canyon down there. We're gonna drop down into this. Look, it's pretty thick. We don't know what we're gonna find at the bottom of it, but we're taking you right along with us. Let's see what happens. Hey, we found our way down to the creek. Little tiny creek, little tiny water. It's in a little bit of a canyon we had to get down into. There's definitely water here. I'm gonna guess we're gonna run into fish. This is a real tight, bushy little creek that we're in, very overgrown. We're fishing sub seven foot rods. I have a six and a half foot rod. Fish Whisper's got a six foot two inch rod. In these type of situations, to me, that's ideal. Um, anyhow, let's see, what we, let's see what we run into. Stay hooked. This is a fair amount of what the day looks like, at least the early part of the day. A lot of walking. We're probably gonna, the majority of today is gonna be walking in country like this, hunting for little pools, seeing if we can find some fish in these little pools. But this is what this type of fishing is like, folks. Not a, not a ton of action, but you're really here in the backcountry kind of hunting these little wild fish. This is a lot of what we're dealing with, walking through some real thick stuff. We're down here on the creek bottom. There's not a ton of water in the creek right here, and it's really, really overgrown. Very typical of some of these backcountry Arizona streams. This is what we're looking for. We're trying to find these wild fish that live in these streams. All right, folks, so we we got down here into the canyon and it got it got too thick too many fallen trees It just was not passable. I mean, we could have gotten our way self through it We made a call to say hey, you know what? It's gonna take us about an hour Let's get back to the vehicle see if we can pop in lower on this little creek. There is a trickle here Possibility fish pretty slim. It's a it's a real small trickle. I'm gonna guess most years it's probably dry right in here So we're gonna try to get in our car get down to a lower spot on the creek, see if we can hike in that direction. We haven't given up and you're right along with us. Keep going. A lot of our day is traveling like this right here, folks. We're headed down another ravine slash canyon, trying to see if we can get into some substantial water that might hold some fish. We've been driving quite a bit on back roads trying to find our way down here. We come up on the fallen logs, we come up on the locked gates, but this is what we gotta do. If we can get down here and find some fish, we'll feel like the day's a success. Stay hooked, let's see what happens. And we made our way to the creek. There it is, folks. Skinny little classic Arizona Creek right there, folks. We think there's gonna be some wild patches in this stretch of creek. Oh, we started out this morning about 6.30. It's about 12.30 right now, so it took us about six hours driving some back roads, walking some back trails, and let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get something to happen down here. Folks, you can see how close to quarters this creek is, how many bushes and trees are around here. There's a lot of different ways to fish this. You could dab your fly in. I like to use this sub seven foot rod. It's a six foot, six inch rod. You can actually make a cast in these close quarters, still kind of dangerous. You're gonna get caught in the trees, but it makes it a lot easier to make a little bit of a cast to get it into some of these little pockets. Let's see what happens. Okay, folks, this is how you find your next secret spot. We've been out here since uh, 8.30 this morning. It's almost three o'clock right now. Five or six dead end dirt roads, tested out the forerunner. Maxed it out a little bit. Lots of miles, probably eight to 10 miles of hiking. We did find a creek. We found water that should have held fish. We didn't see any fish. We fished it hard. We fished it hard for several miles. We didn't get anything today. This, this stretch of creek, we're gonna mark off the list. But that's what you have to do if you wanna find your secret spot in Arizona. Get out, get your tires dirty, 
get your feet dirty, cover some ground. It will work out. Folks, some of these days are spectacular. This was a spectacular day, but we didn't find any fish. I'll see you at the shop.